everyone. Thank you for joining me for the IV Tech Get Ready, Set, Go training session. In our session today, we will do many things. We will set up your course by pairing Connect with Blackboard, duplicating your section, changing dates within Connect. We will also work on getting students started, and we'll answer some questions about some common things that can be done within Connect and Blackboard. To begin, I'm going to share my screen. Very soon here, we will be able to see that I have record, I have my Connect account up here. This Connect account has several courses in it, so yours may look a little different, but the first thing that we're going to do today is work on duplicating your section. I'm going to duplicate my section from this master section. And the way that I'm going to do that is uh, by selecting this icon right here. For your section, after you have created the initial Connect course, prior to pairing your course with Blackboard, you can duplicate the original course for additional sections of the course or each successive term that you teach. And that's what we're going to do here today. After duplicating the course, you will need to update the start dates if you set them and also update the due dates for each assignment to reflect the current term. We're going to follow the steps that I'm showing you today to complete the process of duplicating your section. First, we are going to be in our Connect site like I just showed you here, and we're going to find the course that we want to duplicate, and we're going to click on the Section Options icon right here on the right-hand side of the section. Then we are going to select to duplicate the section. We will then be prompted to edit the course name. You can delete copy of and update that to reflect your new term title. I'm just going to name this one Master Fall 2015 2 because this is the second copy I have made of this one. Just going to close that page and now you can see here that I have another section under this course. So we have successfully duplicated that course. Next, you will need to change your available and due dates within Connect. Once your assignments appear in your new section, we'll just go into the section that we have just created, you, we will need to change the dates of each assignment to reflect your class schedule. So I am going to work within this class today, actually, the Fall 2015 class. I'm going to move into the class by clicking on the name of the section. Then I am going to open up the assignments that I would like to edit. Your section may have different assignments or a different layout, but this process will be the same. So I am going to select the assignments that I want to change. So I'm just going to select the specific Learn Smart assignments here. And then I'm going to go under this icon that is looks like a tiered stack of papers, and this is our assignment options icon, and I'm going to locate the manage date selection. From here, I can adjust my dates in bulk, or I can adjust them individually. If I do it in bulk, it will allow me to set up all the start dates and due dates to be the same for these assignments, or if I do it individually, I will be able to edit the dates and click save when finished. So for example, if I want to do it in bulk, I can just click here and edit where it says start and do, and edit those changes there. I'll enter my date, I'm just going to say the 25th of September for now, and I could edit the start date as well, maybe we'll say the 19th. If I did that, I could click save, and then that would save those dates across all of those assignments I've selected, or I can select individually and edit these assignments one at a time. So maybe I want that one the 25th, this one the 30th, and maybe this one even October 2nd, and I can edit all of those individually then I will select Save. When I selected Save, you can see that under those folders that those assignment changes have been made to those due dates. The next thing that we will need to do is pair our Blackboard course with Connect. We are going to do that by loading our Blackboard page, which I have already opened, I believe. Let's Nope, I will just need to log in here quickly. Okay, so I'm in my, my Blackboard course, and now I am going to find the course that I want to work in, which I have an Ivy Tech one set up here, so yours will look very similar to this. Pairing your Connect course with Blackboard will allow for you and your students to move between the two systems without the need 
to visit two separate websites and enter two different logins. Additionally, once your Blackboard course is paired with Connect, the scores from the Connect assignments will automatically appear in the Blackboard Grade Center. You will see a column for each assignment in that Grade Center. If you get stuck or confused at any point along the way, stop and contact McGraw-Hill CXG Group for detailed support or pairing assistance as you need help. But we'll do this today together. First thing we did was log into Blackboard and we found our course. Once we're in our course, we're going to click on Communication and Tools here on the left. Next, we will select the McGraw-Hill Higher Education link over here on the right. And then we will select the Pair Course with a Connect Section option right here at the top. It will bring up a warning telling us that we're going into Connect, and we'll just click Continue. And then we will enter our Connect login information. You may or may not be prompted for this information, but if you are, enter your Connect password and Connect login information. I'm going to click Sign In here. And now I need to select if I want to use an existing course or a new course. We'll always select existing. Then I will find my course textbook. So for this demo, I have this textbook. And I will select the course that I want to pair with, which is the Fall 2015 section. I will say Save. And now we have successfully paired with Blackboard. However, we still need to deploy the Connect assignments into Blackboard. In order to do this, we're going to click on this yellow tab that says Return to Blackboard. Now we are going to the, go to the Class Sessions tab in Blackboard or you can create a content link in Blackboard entitled Connect Assignments. And then we're going to go under Assessment, and then we will select McGraw-Hill Assignments. Next, a list of all of the assignments will appear that you will import into the folder. Click the top box right here to select all assignments and then click the submit button at the top at the bottom of our page today. It will always take a moment to load, but you'll see the progress by looking at this spinning wheel over here. This shows that it's spinning, so those assignment links are being created currently. Next, we will see a verification page showing the list of assignments and where they will appear in Blackboard. We can take a look at this, and then we can simply choose to submit those assignments by clicking right here. Again, this takes a minute to load just because of the nature of what the system needs to connect with. Now we can see under assessments, we have all of these assignments. We should have all of these assignments created under the folders that are in here. If we can open this one, Session 1 Assignments, and you see in Session 1 Assignments we have the assignments that came from Connect. So that covers how to pair with Blackboard and how to deploy your assignments from Connect to Blackboard. The next thing we're going to do is cover some how do I do this type topics. The first one that we're going to cover is how to get grades from Connect into Blackboard. We are going to, when you do this, you'll want to ensure instant grade entries, making sure to instruct students to access assignments from Blackboard, and always click the Return to Blackboard button after completing assignments. If students report that they have completed an assignment in Connect, but they do not see a grade in Blackboard, instructors should synchronize their section. Blackboard should automatically update on a daily basis with these students' grades, but if you want that to happen sooner, you'll click Communication and Tools, the McGraw-Hill Higher Education link, and then you would select Synchronize with Section or Synchronize Individual Assignment, depending on which one you would like to make sure the assignments come from. 
In fact, it's probably a best practice to synchronize your section roughly about once per week. The next thing that we'll discuss how to do is how to create assignment extensions for specific students. So we'll want to move into our Connect section to do this. And to do that, we're just going to click Go to My Connect section. And then this will load us into the section that Blackboard has been paired with. In here, we will open the assignments that we want to create an extension on. Now, I have already joined this class session from this as, an, as a student using the courtesy access. So I will be listed under the list of students. So what I'm going to do is select my assignment that I want to manage the dates on. So I'm just selecting this, um, this quiz right here. And then I will select to manage the date. Next, I will need to select this tab right here that says Extension. In order to grant extensions, I can do it by the individual student. So as I said, I've already registered for this class, so you can see my name listed here. Now I can edit the extension as I would like to. So I can edit the start date, due date, how long I want to allow the student on the assignment, and how many attempts I want to allow. So that completes, and after you have selected everything you want to select here, you would just select to save that. However, I'm not going to save it because I'm not actually active in this course. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to just talk about what you should do if you need assistance. So IB Tech instructors receive technical support from our top account specialists within our customer experience group. Instructors can call into a dedicated phone line or email a dedicated email address. In order to contact CXG, the phone number is 855-423-9016 or cxg.ivtech at mcgraw-hill.com. The customer experience group support hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 to 4, Friday, 8 to 9, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Friday. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. All of those times are in Eastern Standard Time. Also, you could also visit our Connect Success Academy by going to the link that is provided within Connect under your Help site. You can click right here at the very top where it says Help and then Tutorials. And this will load us into your Connect Success Academy where you can search any items that you are wondering about. So this brought us into the first page here, but you can always search through the index on the right-hand side for the topic, or you can search your topic by entering your information, keywords, and then clicking Search. That will conclude our session today. So thank you for joining me, and please contact as we just discussed, if you have any issues, contact your Ivy Tech CXG group or reach out to your specified implementation consultant. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful semester.